Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. In our previous video we installed and set up Nyslash to run on Windows 10. Today we're going to make sure that all miners are installed and take a closer look at the advanced settings in Nyslash. Before we start mining, we're going to make sure that all the plugins are installed. So let's update all the software and then any miners that are missing I like to install as well. And welcome back. All the built-in mining software has been updated and installed. Once that has been updated, we just made sure that everything is enabled. So we've got the algorithm that you will be mining. You've got the miner for that specific graphics card. And after the benchmark, we'll have the speed, what you uh, BTC will be per day, or how many Satoshis you'll be earning per day. And so let's start the benchmarks. This does take some time to run through. So let's get started. Welcome back, everyone. Now that our graphics cards have completed their benchmarks, as you can see under the benchmarks, what is enabled, what has been benchmarked. If you click on the arrow to the right, some of them will not complete, which is fine. Let's take the GTX 1070. 
get fill the kapow algorithm and the lighter to rev 3 if we click on BTC per day we can see what the highest algorithm is as you can see is Daga Hashimoto which is the Ethereum algorithm and the miner that is being used is the T-Rex miner BTC per day is 4,817 satoshis and it will always mine the most profitable which is a really good feature to have when it's a standalone miner that you don't have to touch again Benchmarks for the RX 2070. Makes about 6,701. These cards are running stock and hasn't been overclocked and not undervolted. So at the moment it's using quite a lot of wattage because it's not undervolted. But that we will do in our next video. Um, and then as you can see the RX 5700 which is running at 53 mega hash also on Daga Hashimoto using the Phoenix miner now this is a good way of actually seeing which miner would be best to mine this algorithm so if you wanted to mine not into Bitcoin but into Ethereum you could download the Phoenix miner and set up the bat file to mine Ethereum. But that we'll do on another video as well. Okay. If you click on devices, you'll see that all three cards are mining. You can mine CPU algorithms, but that's up to you. Let's actually see what the 4790 mines at. Okay, so if we go to benchmarks, make sure that the algorithms are enabled. Okay, there's only one for random X Monero. It's using XM Rig Miner. And let's see what it makes. You can decide if you want to mine with your CPU or not. Okay, as you can see, it's using four threads. Let's minimize that. It makes about 816 Satoshis a day. So if we turn off all our graphics cards, it makes about 13 cents USD a day, which is not actually bad. Let's take a look at the other cards. The GTX 1070. It's using the TRX miner. It's busy generating the DAG file to the graphics card. And we just want to see what the speed that it is mining at. Hopefully it gives us the amount of watts that it's using as well. Okay, so mine is working at 26, almost 27 mega hash, 
which is a little low because these cards can run at 30 megahash. If we move our miner down below, profits are about 77 cents USD. Please note that this card hasn't been undervolted and overclocked for optimal performance. So let's close this one. Let's take a look at the 2070. Busy loading the DAG file. This is just extra insight, uh, the things that I'm talking about now. You don't really need to know it. Um, just make sure that your miner is running and that your current profits are appearing. So this card is running at 37 mega hash at just waiting for the watts at 167 watts. And it's making just over a dollar a day. Let's take a look at the RX 5700 XT enable and see what that is mining at. And as you can see, the graphics card is running at 174 watts and is hashing away at 53, almost 54 mega hash per second. It is picking up shares. And the current profit should be about $1.56, which is not too bad. We can drop that power as well, which we'll do on the next video. There are a few other settings. If you select this cogwheel on the top right hand side, you can change your Bitcoin address. Um, you can rename your worker as well. Um, let's call it rig. If you're in South Africa, Europe is the closest. We can turn this to dark mode. Okay, which has actually restarted our miner. Uh, let's go back to there. Um, auto updates are selected. And if there are other plugins like the miners that if there's an update for the miner, it will automatically update as well. When we click on advanced, we can click on auto start. So when your PC switches on, it will automatically start the miner. Um, or if you have a power failure, uh, run on startup. I always select minimize to say. You can mine when it's idle as well. So idle when no internet access. So if there's no internet access, then it will just stop mining and wait till it, wait till there is an internet connection. Um, and if you don't want to mine while you're actually using the computer, you can actually turn on start mining when idle. Meaning that if you don't use your PC for 60 seconds, it will automatically just start mining. So we'll leave that off for now. And 
and then you can hide mining windows so it doesn't pop up every time and you can minimize the min uh, mining window as well um, there are two notifications you can add windows defender exceptions if you click on more information it will add the root folder, and I search root folder to Windows Defender. Let's do that. And switching to Compute Unit. This this is an AMD setting. Changing it from Graphics to Compute. That you only do on the Polaris like 570 or 5 RX 580. So we don't need to do that. We can remove that. But otherwise, your miner is now set up to make Bitcoin on a daily basis. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments down below. NiceAsh is a really good software if you're starting to mine and would like to know more info. It's a good way of getting into mining with a gaming PC. It's easy to install, it's easy to set up and it automatically runs. So leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what miner you're using or what algorithm you're mining. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.